Welcome back to Dr. Josefina's Way. And in today's lesson, we're talking about potential. What is potential? Potential is dormant ability. Potential is reserve power. Potential is untapped energy, strength. Potential is always present, waiting to be exposed, explore, and discover. But it demands that you never, never settle for what you have already accomplished. One of the greatest enemies of potential is, is complacency. Unless we ask ourselves, what is the purpose in my life? We will always walk around with a confused look in our, self, in our face Thinking, is this all it is? This is why I always recommend to my clients not to accept their present situation in life as final. So we need to reevaluate, reinvent, rejuvenate ourselves constantly. Do not be satisfied with your last accomplishment. Your last accomplishment is not the end. It's only the beginning. It is a benchmark. Because we are full of potential, we should not be the same person that we were last year, this year. There are many facets of our potential that are dormant, untapped, unused, and many people die without getting out their full potential. Your problem and my problem is that we lack faith, belief, and the discipline to make it possible. One of the greatest enemies of potential is to pay attention to the opinion of negative people who had the audacity to tell you what you can be. When we start believing and pay, paying attention to negative people, we get ourselves in big trouble. You have the potential to change impossibilities into possibilities. You have the potential to receive whatever you ask for. You have the potential to do awesome, great job. Everything is possible for those who believe. Here are a few points that I want to help you so you can release your full potential. Number one, you must know your source. Every highly successful people believe in something bigger and greater than themselves. You must understand that you are perfect for your purpose. What does that mean? That means that you stop comparing yourself with anybody else because you are just perfect for your purpose. You were designed in a specific manner and that's the way you should function. You are designed to function by faith and love. Our potential cannot be released without faith and without love. Negative emotions such as fear, hatred, they block your potential. So you have to eliminate all this negativity from your life. You must know your purpose. This is an essential key because the purpose for which something was made determines its design, nature, and potential. So it's important to know your purpose. You must understand your resources. The main resource that we have is not the money. The main resource that you have is the power of your mind. Once you start to understand how your mind works, how your creative subconscious works, then you are ready to maximize your potential. You must have the right environment. Your environment is going to have a direct effect in your performance and your development. Everything in the universe was created to flourish within 
A, a specific environment. Plants, animals, fish, all need a specific environment so they can release their potential. And that's the same for us. One of the things that we need to remember also is that you must work out your potential. Potential is a major key to releasing your potential. Must be exercised and demands make on it. That way you can develop that. It's just, it's just like a muscle. If you start working out your muscles, you start developing them. So you need to work out your potential. You must cultivate your potential. Potential is like a seed. You must feed your potential with a good fertilizer and getting rid of all the negative effect, all the negative actions around you. You must guard your potential. It's like a small plant. If you don't put a fence around it, then the cow will come, step on it, and it gets destroyed. So in the beginning, when we're trying to make changes in our life, we need to protect ourselves, and especially from people who are supposed to care for us because they don't get it. All these kids are principles are proven to work throughout history. Commit yourself to develop your full potential and your life will unfold in a miraculous way. Here are a few points that I want you to remember. You must know your purpose. That means what, what are you here for? What is it that you're supposed to do? Number two, you must understand your resources. Main thing, learn how your mind works. Your thought has power. The way, the, way, the, the way you talk, that has power. That creates your destiny, your thoughts and your words. And number three, you must have the right environment. You must surround yourself with an environment for success. You must work out your potential and you must cultivate your potential. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back.